In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool zoom through mask transition in Final Cut Pro. And don't worry, it's not going to require any plugins. I am going to be using the magnetic mask though, so if you don't have Final Cut 11, you're going to have to um, upgrade. But you could just use the draw mask and use a freeze frame to create a very similar transition. So here are the two video clips that I'll be using. These are from the little tech and music video. So I have this clip and then this person holding the camera. Now I would encourage you to use clips like this. Clips is like a very kind of like close up medium shot and a very easy shape to cut out. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut out this camera screen. So what you wanna do is head over here to the effects panel and you wanna find the category mass and keying. So select on mass and keying. Now again, if you don't have Final Cut 11, you could just create a freeze frame and then use the draw mask to cut the subject. But in this case, I do have Final Cut 11. So I'm using the magnetic mask tool, which is basically rotoscoping in Final Cut. So drag the magnetic mask onto the actual clip and now we can go ahead and actually cut out the actual like object or shape that we want. So let's go ahead and just do a quick selection right here. And then obviously that looks really bad. So let's head over here to the subtraction tool. And now what we're gonna do is we wanna create, as you can see, see how it kind of like creates points around the subject or around the shape that we wanna use. So something like that should be pretty good. Now we can go through and maybe, let's maybe zoom in a little bit. Again, it doesn't have to be necessarily perfect. Actually, let's go maybe to like 150. And as you can see, see it's not, let's, let's kind of just mess, so we can kind of mess around, you can see, you can kind of make it, you could also use kind of like the paint tool if you wanted. See, it's not like perfect, it, it does a pretty good job. Unfortunately, hopefully Final Cut will eventually allow you to kind of like round the edges, like it, it, it allows you to kind of feather it, but as you can see, it's a little jagged, so it, it won't look perfect, but especially if you use some motion blur, you can go ahead and hide um, the imperfections, but I think overall you're doing a really good job of kind of just cutting it out. So let's go back over to fit, so now we have it completely cut out now what you want to do is you can also use the paint tools if you want to it just depends on what you which one you prefer so let's click on analyze and now final cut is going to go ahead and track the shape so there we go now it's completely tracked but wait for final cut to render now we're going to do is click on here and then just click on done and there you go now you have the mask selected i like to go ahead and right click and hide the magnetic mask editor just to keep the timeline a lot cleaner so there we go so here is the first layer now what we're going to do is head over here and go over to this one uh, click on this icon right here and we're going to go ahead and uncheck invert mask so as you can see now you just have the actual um they have the actual camera so let's go ahead and take the feather and now we can just adjust the feather let's go ahead and maybe bring it outward i wouldn't mess with it too much much so again this is a very much a personal preference so something like that you know should look good just just for the sake of the tutorial so there we go now we have the camera masked out now we can go ahead and let's figure out where we, how long we actually want this to happen so let's go something like this and let's go forward like 20 frames so to like 32 so we'll do something like here and let's go ahead and just maybe something like see we'll go a little forward something like this and let's go ahead and click on command b to blade the clip now we want to select on this layer and now you want to delete the magnetic mask so there we go now we don't have any magnetic mask on this layer so let's go ahead and drag this clip above right here so above the sec above the uh, first clip and there you go so now you have obviously that looks kind of weird just kind of like randomly um pops them but we want to go ahead and actually animate it so what you want to do is let's place the playhead to the beginning of the clip select on this clip and head over here to the crop tool so you want to make sure we're on the crop tool right here and now what we're going to do is head over here to Ken Burns. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it. We're going to go ahead and head to this icon and we're going to flip it because we want to start it zoomed out. So let's go ahead and take the start box and let's go ahead and drag it and place it into the camera. Something like that should be pretty good. So there we go. We're going to place it into the camera. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and make sure it's selected on Ease In. So click on Ease In and let's go ahead and click on Done. Now let's see how this looks. So as you can see, if we kind of go frame by frame, you see how it's like zooming out and then so there you go. And then it kind of like goes into the next shot. So let's go ahead and play and see what the result looks like. So we have this right here. As you see, you have this really cool like zoom out effect. And that just looks, that's just a really clean um, transition. But let's say you want to spice it up and make it look even cooler. We're going to go ahead and select on this clip and we're going to hold down the option key and we're just going to duplicate this actual layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select on the bottom layer and we're going to head over here to this icon and now we're going to select on invert mask. So we want the mask um, inverted. So let's go to the beginning of the clip right here 
and let's go to the crop tool and what you want to do is you want to select on this green one so make sure you select on the green one and now you want to drag it off in whichever direction you want so let's say you want to drag the start box over here and as you see with like the actual like camera icon you want to make sure the start box is in the black area you don't want it being like on the actual camera so go ahead and make sure it's in you know it, it, it doesn't matter which direction it's in you just want to make sure it's in a completely like black spot and then click on done and there you go and now it'll kind of like slide on so you go ahead and play right here as you can see see how the screen is like sliding on and then it like perfectly like connects to the actual clip so let's go to the beginning and let's see what this looks like so as you can see you have this really cool like transition so there we go that just looks really cool so we can kind of go through it again and kind of just double check everything to make sure everything looks good as you can see because we feathered it i don't think it quite looks that good so let's select over here and maybe we can like let's try like resetting the feather so as you can see see how that looks a lot better so it, again depends on if you want a feather or not but i think overall that looks the edges look a lot it just in my opinion it just looks a lot better so let's go ahead and play this clip and let's see what it looks like see if that looks any better i think that's really cool and there you go now you have this really cool like mass transition now it's happening too fast in the beginning where i cut the clip just make sure just you want to make sure the clip is a little bit longer so in this case i have it for 23 frames if you want it to happen slower just make sure you just increase the duration of this but i would say 20 25 frames is probably good enough oh, honestly i think this is good enough maybe i could make it th uh, three or four frames longer but i think overall i'm pretty happy with this result and there you go now you have this really cool like zoom this mask zoom transition now let's say you want to add some motion blur you can go ahead and add like directional blur if you want it but what i would encourage you to do is actually just use the free motion blur plugin from ryan nagel so if i head over here to titles and generators and i go ahead and scroll to the category motion blur now this is a free plugin from ryan nagel this is just the best the best uh, motion blur plugin and let's go ahead and drag this motion blur plugin on where the actual animation is happening and we can go ahead and just simply trim this this is by far the best motion blur plugin uh, for final cut so we kind of take the clip as you see see how there's like motion blur so see how there's like blur right here so before and then after you see how there's just blur it just makes the transition so much better so we go ahead and play right here now i think the transition like it, it's gonna lag a little bit just because there's a lot of motion blur but as you can see it'd be as you can see it just looks a lot better anyways that's how you create this really cool zoom through mass transition in final cut pro 11 if you're looking to purchase some really cool final cut pro plugins check out my website winkinsmedia.com link is down in the description and if you enjoy watching these types of videos make sure to go and hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next one peace